In this video, I'm going to show you how to create new documents uh, using the new document maker tool in Academap. Uh, this includes things like certificates and ID cards for anyone in your school. So in order to use the document maker, first you have to select at least one student in your people directory. Um, if you're just creating a document or editing a document, it doesn't really matter who specifically you select, but you do need to have at least one person selected before you can enter the document maker. So I've selected a student, uh, and now I'm going to click on the document maker on the left hand side. And this is going to show me all the available documents I have for my school. Um, I can either create a brand new style from scratch, so either a certificate or an ID card, or if I like an existing certificate or ID card, I can copy that and then modify it and save it as a separate new, uh, a new document. So I'm going to just quickly go over what the actual document maker looks like. So I'm going to copy a certificate by hitting the copy button here on the top left hand corner of one of these uh, styles. And this is going to actually open the certificate builder. Now make sure once you open it, you have to have a name for your document in order to save it. So make sure that it's named appropriately. Uh, there are multiple presets you can use. You can either go with a landscape certificate, a portrait certificate, an ID card landscape. These are usually student IDs. ID card portrait. These are usually staff or volunteer or uh, more unique IDs. Or you could go um, a custom landscape or portrait. If you go custom landscape or portrait, then you'll have the opportunity to put in uh, a custom height and width if you want to do something uh, unique or unusual. Uh, so I'm just going to stay with the certificate landscape preset. And uh, before I make any changes, I'm going to hit the save button. So I have the classic certificate and it's named. I'm going to hit the save button so that way I can come back to it um, and work on it after I've made changes. Now this is going to show all of the elements inside of your document. Um, if you want to actually edit or modify any of the elements, the place you go to do that is click this open button in the top right hand corner. And this drop down shows you a list of all the elements that are currently in the document. So the presentation date, the background, the student image, etc. Uh, things like a student image are just going to be uh, a, a blank uh, square because these are templates. These aren't necessarily certificates that have been populated with content yet. This is just a way for you to modify the individual elements inside a template. You can also click on an element. You can also click and drag an element in order to move it manually. And once you do that, the element will be selected and all the options for it will appear uh, on this right hand menu. Or if you just want to select an element uh, here on the actual preview, you can right click and then hit edit presented to. So this is the presented to element and then I'm going to hit edit presented to and it selects that and then I can make modifications here on this panel. Um, each element is going to have its own individual settings which I'll go over in other tutorials. Um, if I want to add an element, I click this add element button and it'll open up a menu of what I want to add. So I can add a barcode, a logo, a media image. This could be a background or a seal or another image you want to attach to the document. This could be a shape, so if you want to put a bar behind a name and an ID, a student field, uh, a student image, and just any sort of uh, generic text you want to add into the document. If you want to have a two-sided document, you click this, this little button here right next to the status and the save buttons, and this will actually flip to the opposite side of it. So if you wanted to have a double-sided certificate or uh, double-sided ID, something like that. Um, you can make changes to the back of it here and customize it. And you know which side you're on because the letter A or B will appear in the background. So A is the front and B in, is the back. So right now we're looking at the back of this certificate. There's nothing on it. And uh, if I want to go back to the front of the certificate, I just click this little switch button one more time. This little status button here, when it's green, that means non-admin users are able to see this template and um, use it to create documents. If you're working on it and you're not done with it yet, just change it to gray. And that means all, only admin users can see this now. And uh, so you can use this, this little button to continue working on or edit something. And then when you finished it, change the status to green and now non-admin users can see it and use it to order. And then just hit save and then that will save that change.
Mint Maker on the left hand side. And this is going to show me all the available documents I have for my school. Um, I can either create a brand new style from scratch, so either a certificate or an ID card, or if I like an existing certificate or ID card, I can copy that and then modify it and save it as a separate new, uh, a new document. So I'm going to just quickly go over what the actual document maker looks like. So I'm going to copy a certificate by hitting the copy button here on the top left hand corner of one of these uh, styles. And this is going to actually open the certificate builder. Now make sure once you open it, you have